Right, what's going on people? It's Aaron Drapes right here and um, I'm going to do a little tutorial on sampling in Logic Pro on behalf of the Mixtape Project. Um, now, for those of you who have no knowledge in using the sampler in Logic Pro, I'm going to try and keep it basic for you. For those of you who do have knowledge, it's just going to be a little top up for you. Alright, so what we're going to do first of all is load Logic Pro. Um, it automatically loads on my laptop, so I'm just going to go to new. Then we're going to go to empty project. All right. Now, um, I'm going to load up five software instruments, you know, just for, for example. And then we're going to create. All right. Now, on the first track, what we're going to do is load up the ESX24 sampler, yeah? Which is basically the daddy sampler in Logic Pro. Um, this is the, the, the machine that you're going to use to, you know, load in any samples that you have, any beat samples, any snares any hi-hats any any sort of sample that you have you know vocals whatever it is so first of all we're going to go to edit right and then to load in your first few instruments you go to zone and if you're just loading in one instrument you go to load zone but um, we'll just go to load multiple samples, right? For example, now I've got a few samples on my laptop here, which I'm gonna load up. Shall I load up? Right, so. Um, right, cool. Gonna go to dubstep. There we go. Dubstep. Right. Drums. Kits. Drum kits. Right. Now you'll be able to preview the samples that you've loaded in or that you're about to load in. So you click on here, click play. And you should be able to hear it. Alright. So we'll load that one. For example. Uh, let's get a snare. Right, that one's not too bad, so we'll load that snare. Um uh, we'll get a hi hat. I'll do and we'll get one more instrument. Right, we'll load that in. Right, so we're gonna keep it nice and simple, right? So once you've done all of that, um you'll hit done, which is at the bottom just under here. You might not have seen it because um, the screen recorder hasn't got it in focus at the moment, but never mind. Uh, now, you'll be faced with this here. What I just do, don't worry about this at the moment because you're going to load, once you press OK, it loads up your four samples on the piano roll at the bottom. All right? Now, if you hit that, get that sample. So we've got all our samples here, all right? Now, what you have here is one shot, yeah? Now, um, if you want to use samples such as the ones that we've got here, um, you can leave these because it's just, we want the whole of this sample here. Right, 
we want the full length of this sample, we want the full length in this one, this one, and this one, right? But say for instance, this one is so long, what we might choose to do is take off one shot so that it only plays how long we press the key for. So the longer you hold it down for, is the longer it will play. The shorter you hold it down for, is the shorter it will play, right? So we've got control over that sample there, right? Now, for instance, if you wanted to use this sample and make it go up in pitch, right? Then dragging this along the keys will allow you to do that. So for instance, you can hear when I play it. And so on and so forth. So it's quite obvious what that does. Okay, so what we'll do now because we've got our drum kit, we'll go to exit, and just before you exit, it will prompt you to save this kit. Right? We go to save. I'm just going to save that as dubstep kit one. Yeah. Now hit save. Now we've got dubstep kit one in the sampler. Right? So you can click click that off now. Um. I'll just rename this here. That's the kit. Kit one. Now, if you've got a MIDI keyboard, then you'll be using your MIDI keyboard at the moment, and things will be easier. But if you haven't, right, then you're gonna be drawing it in, okay, into the piano roll. Alright, using a step sequencer. So, what I'll do is press the pencil tool to create a pattern on my arrangement. I'm going to make about four bars. I'm going to double click into that and it's going to bring up this at the bottom, this piano roll at the bottom. Alright, I'm going to load and drag that up and um, I'm going to find my samples now. So, where are they? Okay, so that's part of my effect. There's my kick. There's my snare. There's my hi hat. And there's my sample, which goes up. Right. Now, that is basically how to load samples in in order to create a drum kit. Now, I'm just going to create a quick drum kit to show you, you know. This is the, the end result. So I'm going to draw for my pencil over here in the piano roll, which is different to the pencil up here in the arrangement, right? Click on the pencil tool. And then I'm just going to key in a few instruments. Right. I'll put this on loop, right? Just so that I've got a point of reference when I'm creating my song, my um, sequence. So, and what I might do just to make life easier is just create the loop here on two bars, right? To start with, right? And then what I'll do is speed up tempo because dubstep's usually 140, so I'll speed it up. All right, okay. All right. And then I'll go to my contact, sorry, my velocity tool, all right, which is the V, and I'll select all of them. Click on this and push up. To make it louder, yeah, because you want it nice and loud, right? Then I'll go back to my pointer tool, and what I'm going to do now is create another track so that we've got control over each instrument, right? 
so we haven't got the snares in the same track as the drum track right so we click on this track here then command D will duplicate that track now my pencil tools already selected I can create another track all right let's make that shorter and now I can put my snare in there so where's my snares here all right so I'll draw for my pencil tool again so let's Right, so that's my snare and my kick. Now I'm gonna once again duplicate this track so that I can start working on my hi hat or use my hi hat within this kit. So once again, create another, I call it a pattern, you can call it a sequence, whatever. Right, and I'll change the length. And then <clears throat> I'll go back to find my hi-hat, which is here. So, and I'll put that in. Nice and simple. I might jazz it up a bit. Right, go back to my point at all. And what I'll do is go back to my point at all on this one as well and select all of these, right? And go to quantize it, right? Because I'm going to change the groove of it to make it a bit more swingy. And if you watch what happens. Right, so that's on 16A. Listen to, to the groove of how it changes. As I keep going up. Right, so now we've got a bit more of a bounce. Yeah, so basically, I've I've imported samples one by one into my sampler, my ESX24, right? And then I've began to make a sequence, and it's 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 pretty easy, you know. So I'm gonna stop that right here, and I'm gonna let you go and have a go, basically. Um, remember to subscribe. To the channel keep up to date because um you know we've got quite a lot of tutorials coming and i uh, hope you enjoyed it so aaron drape signing out on behalf of the mixtape project uh, have fun